Hi, my name is Ted. Today I'm going to show you how to build a formula in Excel on a Mac. Uh, I have a Mac here and I have Excel opened and I have some numbers in columns. Just it doesn't really matter what they are, just for the purpose of showing you how to build a formula. I've got a, a, a set of, of X's and a set of Y's and I'm going to, in the column called Z, I'm going to enter in a formula. So let's say I want a formula that it, that's going to be x squared plus y cubed. So x to the second power plus y to the third power. So to build any formula, you go into the cell where you want the formula to appear, where the calculations are going to be done, and you always start with the equal sign. So you enter in equal. Uh, let, let me just make that clear. You have, to, you have to click on the cell, and as soon as you start typing, you're going to see in something called the formula bar up here, this is where your formula is going to appear. So as soon as you start typing in the cell, that's where it appears and that's where the, that's where the calculations are going to be done. So I'm, I'm typing down here, but it also appears up here. And you can actually do the editing in either place. You can do it right in the cell, where my cursor is now, or you can do it up in the formula bar, where my cursor is now. I always like to do it in the, in the cell itself. Um, so I type equals, and I guess what we said we were going to do is we we're going to we're going to say we're going to we're going to um, type x squared plus y cubed. So the, the first thing to do is to enter in the cell that we want the calculation to be done, and so it's going to be a two is where uh, this number is, and we type the exponent character, which is the little upside down v and a 2, and then we're going to go plus, and then it's going to be B2, which because we want to use this number here, the one in the Y column, to the third power. Okay, and then we hit a return. So that's every formula starts by typing an equal, then you type in the formula, then you hit a return, and that enters it in. So X squared plus Y cubed is 126. Sure enough, 1 plus 5 times 5 times 5 is 125, is 126. Well, there's an easier way to do it than typing in the A2 and the B2. So I'm just going to um, just delete what was in there, hit the delete key and return, and I'm going to start from scratch, and I'm going to show you a much easier way to do it. Click on the cell, type the equal sign to tell it we're going to start typing in a formula, and then just click on the cell that you want the, to, the calculation to be done on. So we click on that the one there over in cell A2 to the second power, plus, and then we click on B2 to the third power and hit a return. And there we go. Um, now, one final thing, it's very useful. We, we want to do the same formula in all these other cells. Instead of going in and typing the same formula in, in each cell, what we can do is just click on that cell and, and do copy. So you can either do edit copy or in the case of a Macintosh, you do command C or the command key and C is copy. And then we go to all these other cells and select all them, and we do Command V, which is paste. And there we go. The formula is pasted in all the cells, and you can see that the the, the reference, the, the row number in the formula is is changed. Excel is smart enough to know that when we copy it, for this one we want A3 and B3. For this one we want A4 and B4. This one we want A5 and B5, etc. So I hope this has been helpful. I'm Ted, and today I showed you how to enter a formula into Excel on a Mac. Thank you for watching.